28 minutes to 9 o'clock on this Monday morning. So how about some good news? I think we need some good news. Thanks to groundbreaking surgery, a 35-year-old man whose ear was damaged in a road accident will hear fully again. Doctors at the Steve Biko Academic Hospital in Swane have successfully completed the world's first ever middle ear transplant using, get this, 3D printed bones. Well, to tell us more, we're joined from Pretoria by Professor Mashuru Chifolaro. He's the lead surgeon. Prof, good morning. Congratulations. Well done. What an achievement. Tell us how this came about that you managed to pull off this case and pull off the surgery. <laughs> no, no, good morning to you and to your viewers. Um, it was a very exciting news for us and exciting, exciting surgery for us. So we are very happy. Okay, so what did it entail? I mean, did you have a plan? Uh, had, had you done something close to this or something similar? Or did somebody have sort of a, a light bulb aha moment to say, we're facing this case and this is something that we could do? Uh, what happened is that I've been doing, uh, after I finish all my masters, my fellowship, uh, I've been doing my PhD. I did the first PhD and now I was doing the second PhD now at University of Pretoria. So for the past eight to ten years I've been working on this middle ear prosthesis uh, but the last two years I started to think of an idea of using a 3D printing and uh, so like you say was it an aha moment? I think it was an aha moment when you are looking for solution mm. and uh, I'm very very excited that we managed to come out with such a breakthrough. I was surprised that is the first in the whole world. So how is that patient doing? We understand it was a 35-year-old man who was in a very, very serious accident. And now he'll be able to hear completely again. How is he doing? No, he's doing well. Fortunately, after you've just done the operation, the patient can hear immediately. Wow. So the following day after the operation, he could hear. But because we've put some dressing and bandages, so we are going to remove them in two weeks time so we expect some improvement so i think the the first great achievement was to make sure that we can reprint the human bones and not just print put them into a human so that that is a big success by itself mm. so we're going to do a lot of other researches around this very same topic of middle ear transplant and um we are very, very, very excited about this. So I'm going to get a little technical here, just out of my own curiosity. So what did you use to sort of, uh, you know, duplicate what would be the, the tiny bones, especially in the ear? What, what material was used there? We, we used the, the well-known tested material, which is titanium, and which is used in orthopedic and every other parts of the body, which can stay there for long and which has been proven not to have any foreign body reaction. So we said, let's go and use the same material, but let's just be slightly different and use a 3D uh, technology as mm. fourth industrial revolution to, to change people's lives. Mm. So what were some of the challenges, uh, Prof, that you encountered in this procedure? Um, fortunately, the theater one, I was well, well prepared. Some people were asking me, I had a lot of people were watching over and cameras, but I'm a teacher. I've been a professor for 20 years now, so teaching in front of a big crowd, I mean, it's my nature. There was no problem. But I did a lot of practice in the lab for almost a year now. And the night before, I spent two hours testing in the lab because we have temporal bones, so I wanted to make sure that everything is put on without glitch. Mm. And uh, thanks uh, uh, um, to God, everything went very well. Mm. So there was not much challenges. Yes, because it's the first, you know, and there's bleeding, there's a lot of things, but we, we are surgeon, we're used to that. Mm. So, uh, Prof, what, what next for you now that you've managed to do this successfully? And I suppose you have, is, is this something that could help those who are born uh, hard of hearing, those who aren't able to hear from the, time, uh, from the time of birth? And do you think that this is something you could use to help them as well? Yes, definitely. We, we feel that the... the the sky is the limit. We, are, we need to set a strong research team. We need all the best scientists who can help us. We are going to be the world center of uh, deafness uh, research. 
and uh, we can even have the newborn trauma infection and even uh, metabolic disease so we are going to do a lot of good work i'm encouraging the young uh, doctor specialists who are very interested and feel that they have sharp brain that we are ready to train them and explore this field Oh, fantastic. Thank you. I look forward to hearing and reporting on more of your work, Professor Mashuru Chifularo, the lead surgeon. He's from Steve Biko Academic Hospital, and they've successfully completed the world's first ever middle ear transplant using 3D printing. And the professor there, uh, the lead surgeon and key to that entire surgery. Thanks for your time.